Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you guys here for this serious, serious video today, and I'm sure you'll like it. So let me give you guys a little backstory real quick, okay? So I plan on making a drugstore tutorial for you all featuring my favorite finds and OG drugstore products, and I filmed the whole video, and I loved it, don't get me wrong, but when it came time to edit, I was like, hold on. Now I know I can do and give y'all a lot better than this. So instead of one video featuring drugstore products, all under ten dollars why don't i give you guys two videos in one putting drugstore products against high-end products in real time y'all see where i'm going with this like i love my fenty beauty Too faced nars all of that but i really wanted to see if i can get the same beat with drugstore products alone you feel me so i set out to my local target to do some looking around and make sure that i have everything i need drugstore wise i'm talking foundation primer moisturizer everything i need to be fully strapped and loaded against high-end products and then i went to ulta to make sure that our machine palettes and contour missiles were ready for war I'm not gonna lie to you guys though, I didn't get anything from Ulta because I mean, I already have everything I need, but I literally could not resist going and I wanted to get some cute footage for this video. But once I was all stocked, that is when the battle of the tax brackets was born. Ladies and gents, let the games begin. So on the left, we have Lex with the high-end queens and on the right, we have Alexia with the drugstore sweethearts. The current estrogen levels are extremely high right now between these two lovelies, so let's just keep it moving before this turns into an episode of Bad Girls Club, shall we? Let's start this competition off with some skin. First, we're going to be moisturizing to get our face, you know, moisturized. Lex is going to be using the Estee Lauder Hydration Sorbet Cream, which is $54 and bougie. And Alexia, on the other hand, will be using the Elf Daily Hydration Moisturizer, which retails for $8. And personally, I really, really love both. And the Elf Moisturizer is a lot more lightweight than the fancy, bougie, expensive one. But once these two ladies are looking equally moisturized to me, it is time to prime. For drugstore, we'll be going in with the Makeup Obsession Game Set Mattifying Primer. This is a new pickup and honestly, I've never heard of the brand before, but the feel and texture reminds me of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer that is like 40 gajillion dollars. But overall, I really like it and it actually might be my new regular. But Lex is using the good old Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Y'all already know my love for this by now. It is such a staple in my regular routine. But moving on, it is now time for the brows. Our drugstore sweetheart is using what I would use on a regular schmegular day, two for 99 cents brow pencil from the beauty supply. It's literally been so loyal to me in my brows, unlike many other brow products that I've tried, and I'm not even gonna give no names because it's not worth it in this video. But on the other hand, I had to dust off my old faithful ABH brow pomade in Ebony for my high-end bougie babe on the left. And yeah, like I really can't remember why I stopped using it. It's been like two whole years, but to conceal both brows, well, all four brows. I'm sticking with my Makeup Revolution Concealer in C13. I'm not even gonna front with y'all. This works perfectly for me and I was not about to go out and buy some fancy concealer that is not guaranteed to win my heart like this one, just for the sake of this video. Like, nobody's trying to spend $20 or so for something that I may not use again, you feel me? But this concealer is $7 and it is perfect for me. I've been through four whole bottles of this thing. That's how good it is. Moving on to the real fun part, for foundation on the left, I will be, well, she will be using, let's stay in character, I'm literally just a commentator. Um, she will be using the Too Faced Foundation in Coco, literally one of my faves. And on the other hand, Alexia will be using two foundations for a really good skin-like match. I mixed the CoverGirl True Blend and Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, both equally as full coverage and all, but each individual line didn't have my perfect shade, so we had to improvise a little bit, no biggie though. But if you haven't noticed already, I purposely picked foundations that could equally be a match for me but one is warm toned while the other is cool and neutral I did this to show the importance of actually knowing your undertone it's obvious that I'm a cool or neutral tone but I thought for the longest I was a warm tone babe you feel me but either way I still love the Too Faced foundation not to like throw shade at it or anything it just isn't the proper 
tone for me. Moving straight into concealer though, on the left we're going to be using the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade number two. And on the right, I'm using my favorite thing to contour and that is the Black Opal Foundation Stick in the shade Ebony Brown. And this is all to bring that dimension and depth back into our face. And to create some more dimension, we're going to be going in with concealer. Y'all already know I love me a bright under eyes. So for my high end babe, we're going to be going in with the regular for me and that is the Too Faced Concealer in Butterscotch and for drugstore we're using the Maybelline Instant Rewind Concealer. Shades are all down below by the way you guys I just don't have time to be remembering shades but if I really did have to pick one over the other Too Faced definitely has my heart without a doubt but for some extra coverage I just doubled up on the Too Faced on the high end side but for drugstore I gave the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer a try and I actually really loved it. I used to use this a lot when I was younger but for some odd Too Faced reason I stopped using it and I just stopped <laughs> but a crucial part of every makeup process to me is really the nose contour portion whether you choose to chisel your nose or not it can really make or break your entire makeup look the steps for me are the same just blending it out with this elf blending brush that's literally the name of the brush by the way but yeah like it's just very simple you know like, i just blend it out with the brush and then blend it out with the sponge to get that really nice even blend <laughs> But moving on, this is where the real competition is for me. Miss Laura Mercier almost got her a quick little replacement, but to set my concealer on the high-end side, you know, nothing new, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and for my drugstore sweetheart, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Setting Powder, and then I use the Airspun Translucent Setting Powder for that extra under eye look. I'm really not gonna lie to you guys, the drugstore side really shook me for real because I've never used a drugstore setting powder, and for some reason, like, I just thought it wasn't up there but it actually is like it's actually really really good but regardless though of anything miss laura always takes the cake for me every single time and that's on period next we blush on the left the presidential pick was the juvia's place saharan blush palette and for drugstore i started out with the nyx sweet cheeks matte blush but it just wasn't as um como se dice pigmented for me so i just went ahead and used something that i've been using for a while and that is the CoverGirl True Blend Blush and girl I love me a good old blush like this is easily one of my favorite things in my makeup routine but moving on to contour to you know put that depth into our face I just went ahead and used the darker pigment from the Saharan blush palette on the left and I just you know lightly brush that over my contour areas and then on the right one of my high school faves was the duo palette from the beauty supply to you know really lock in and set that depth that we've created and then just to do some finishing touches that the girls felt they needed to add before we move on to completing both looks. So far though, what are you guys thinking of these looks? Like, is it noticeable? Is there a difference? Is drugstore taking the win? Let's chat down below, okay? Moving on to bring some life to the eyes, we're moving right over to mascara. My high-end babe has decided to go with the Huda Beauty double-ended lengthening and voluminizing mascara that retails for 27 bucks. And my drugstore sweetheart has chosen the Maybelline route to add some definition to her lashes and make it look like she was born with it. For the kissers, both ladies have chosen to gloss it up, but first starting with lining both lips with an eyebrow pencil. Nothing new, honestly. I will forever do this, <laughs> but the lipstick base on the left, we're using Juvia's Place Nude Lipstick in Toffee, and on the right, we are using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. And then to create that really nice gloss combo, Juvia's Place Nude Gloss in Sis on the left and NYX Buttercream Gloss in Madeline on the right. Mm, everything is really coming together nicely. Can you tell? I think it's pretty undetectable as for right now what is high end and what isn't. But let's pop some lashes on, shall we? Again, not going to front with y'all, I stick with the same pair of lashes every single time. Like you can't pay me $1 million to spend $30 on some puny Sephora lashes like these. It will never happen, ever. It's always the beauty supply lashes for me, so I'm going to pop them on on both ladies and girl. This is such a vibe, like everything is coming together. I love how everything is looking so far, but to complete the look fully, I'm setting with some setting spray. Each one is listed down below because sis, I am tired of trying to remember these names and stuff. So check that out for the full details on all the makeup. To make everything pop, I'm adding a bit of highlighter on the bridge of my nose 
nose as well as the tip of my nose and just a little tiny little bit on my brow bone to add that extra dimension and y'all i think we're done like this looks good like if i showed you guys pictures of each beat with no context at all would you even be able to tell which one is which I mean, I personally wouldn't. And for my girlies out there that are just getting into makeup, don't think you have to break the bank just to get a really, really nice beat. Like, the trick is all in the application. And of course, with time and practice, you're going to get so much better. You can really get a powerful beat like this using just drugstore products alone. You can spend $30 on foundation, and if your application sucks, your entire makeup is going to suck. But for me, as you can see, I took the same exact steps. And even though the price ranges of the products were different, it did not change the quality of the overall makeup look at all but yeah nonetheless i hope you guys really love this video i put a lot of effort into this one to really showcase everything for y'all so show me some love down below it really really helps me out honestly like comment share with your favorite people don't let me down because i didn't let you down but let me not hold you guys here for too long um i will definitely see you guys in my next video